Oh, don't act surprised. You know it's bound to happen again. What's happening, everybody? So as you saw from the intro, the title, and the thumbnail, pick up a couple more Marvel 7-packs. I actually saw these right as they were getting stocked, and I was I didn't pick them up then. I picked them up the next day. But I was just having, I was at Wally World grabbing some other stuff and just happened to stop by, walk by there. The lady was stocking them. I didn't know what she was doing. She just had some boxes out. So I started to flip through them, and she was like, oh, can you not do that or wait till I'm finished? I was like, I didn't even know what she was doing. I was just going to look. So... I was like, all right, I just left because I wasn't waiting at the time. But went back the next day and they were there. So there are a couple packs were there. So we have, I'm gonna start with the Thor 11. I already have this issue from another pack, but we're gonna check it out now. See what we got inside here. Should do a battle of the packs uh, and see which pack ends up being better. Not value wise, but you know, cause we don't so much care about that for the comic packs, but just as far as cool factor. Ooh, look at that. I don't know which cover I got for this one, but this is cool. So the single issue pack, or that's packed in there, the middle book is Black Cat Annual Number One, the Infant Destiny's tie-in. Uh, I think this is, which cover is this? I don't know. But yeah, so that's cool. And then, oh, I don't have this book. So there's Eternals and of course Thor. So we'll start with the Thor book, Thor pack. Let's see what we got in here. Well, that's cool. Was that? I don't know when. I can't remember. No, because I'm already picking up Black Widow or not Black Widow. Well, Black Widow too. But I'm already picking up Black Cat, so I know I have that. But I just can't remember how long ago or what cover I had picked up. So we'll have to double check. So again, Thor number eleven. I want to say who did this? Olivia Coipel. That's what I like. So got that. What is this? Avengers Loki Unleashed? Just wanted to make another Loki book because give Loki some more attention. I guess. What we got? Cap, Thor with the beard, Captain Marvel, uh, Monica Rambeau in her black and white costume. We got Wasp and Iron Man, Silver Centurion. When was a represent? I don't know. Who knows? And last up, this is, do I have this one? It's uh, Astonish X-Men and Jean Grey Lenticular cover. I don't know how well that's even gonna show. But uh, Astonish X-Men number two and Jean Grey number eight there. Legacy, whatever. So that is the Thor pack. And now we go on to Eternals number one ahead of their when does the movie come out? Did it already come out? I don't even know. I have no idea. Wait, did I pick did I get an Eternals book? I feel like I was just talking about Eternals in another video because I had to look them up to see what the hell they were even about. Like Eternals, the Deviants, and all that. It's created by the Slush Deals. And all that comic book insanity. So there's that. And there was mad covers for this, for whatever the hell reason. Uh, the X Factor number, wait, what? Is that number one? I guess so. Sorry, you got that. And then, whew, I was hoping it wasn't gonna be the same book. But we have, uh, oh my goodness. Whew, this is, I guess, it's, I don't know what the hell. Oh, it's Incredible Hawk number, I don't know. Could be 159. In particular, with She Hawk as well. Legacy 159. Lo, the leader lives to destroy She-Hulk. Well, as a She-Hulk fan, I can't allow that to happen. And she has a show coming up, so you can't destroy her at all. So, uh, there we go. So that pack, we got, eh, let me see. The Eternals pack wasn't that great. Well, the She-Hulk book was cool. And the uh, Black Cat uh, annual there, that's okay. I dig it. Again, I have to see which, which cover I already have. Otherwise, I'll kind of determine which one or how cool that pool actually is. And so this round, this wave, or this set of books that I saw there, I only saw, yeah, it was just Amazing Spider-Man 62 and that Thor pack. So I wonder if she had put out more and they just, after I stepped away, because again, I wasn't going to wait. And maybe somebody else kind of scooped in, stepped into, oh, ooh, I haven't seen this one. 
So another lenticular we have Iron Man number. I have no idea what this is. Uh oh, 71. And Falcon number one. This is and now it begins the high flying avian avenger. I don't think that's gonna catch on. But let me see, turn number 71. Do I have this one? I don't know. The awesome armored avenger. So see if you can get that. I don't know how well that effect is even gonna be captured. But you kind of see that there. And then the other pack, <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy. Everybody have a similar reaction anytime I pull the Guardians of the Galaxy book. We're gonna start with that pack. So we can get those bums out of the way as quickly as possible. Losers. The losers they are. This one feels like it's double, double bagged. What? What? Oh my goodness, this might be a really old pack then. Those Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, I think this is. This is a really older, an older pack. It feels like, it seems like. So I wonder who, like, who's packing these and where are they stored at? Like, how are they sourced? Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, so it's annual number one. And I feel like it again. Whoa, Jesus. Uh, Unbeatable Squirrel Girl, number 39. I think that's it. Yeah, 39. And what is this? Exiles, number 11, with the Stanley Tribute banner there. Stan the Man. Guardians of the Galaxy, Squirrel Girl. Let me take a look at this. The Unbeatable Squirrel Girl. Oh my goodness. I don't think I've ever read a Squirrel Girl comic. And last pack, Amazing Spider-Man 62. Again, I already have a couple of these. So I pulled one of these in one of the previous seven packs. And I already, when, they, when it was still one of the, the three packs, I grabbed it then as well. So I should have... This should be my third copy of it. So if you haven't seen it, there it is. The new suit and the yellow and orange brown background there. And, oh, I'll take a X-23 book. Oh, it's number one too, so that's cool. X-23, Lord King, number one variant there. I dig it. I like that. I want to read some more X-23. Marniko Tamaki, Juan Cabal. I know there's two N's in his name. I feel like that's not right. And then, oh, another Tony Stark Iron Man number one with uh, Larry Oskiti cover. This is the red and gold armor model 17. I have two of these with different armors, but I want the one that has the bleeding edge armor. So if anybody has that and wants to trade it for a different one, let me know. Cause that's the, <laughs> like, that's the one I want. Uh, well, you got Valeria, who's a fantastic artist, but I want the uh, one that has the bleeding edge armor. That's my favorite Iron Man armor of all time. Nanotechnology for the win, people. So, do we do a battle of the packs? I forgot which. I think these go together. I don't know. The X23 is a hell of a pull. She's a champion. Exiles are cool. The Iron Man Falcon Lenticular. The Hulk She Hulk book is a strong pull. So I'm a She Hulk fan, of course. So let's see. Wait a second. Three. So wait, which pack? I don't know. I don't got confused. I don't remember which ones came with which books. I got a couple of them mixed up. I don't know. I think that second pack that I opened up might be the winner. Might have to call it. What the hell is that? Yeah. I think the second pack is probably the winner there. Some stronger pulls. And another Iron Man variant. Valerio Skeety wins. But, oh, I got Olivier Coy Pell in the Thor book. I can't, I can't decide. All right, people, putting up to you. You decide which pack wins this battle of the packs here. Battle of the Marvel packs. Because the Marvel Madness never stops around here. You already know that. Again, more cool, but more fun packs to open. Just because they're fun and interesting. And see what you kind of get. And see what kind of interesting stories or cool variants my gift for the collection and a uh, great way to kind of uh, branch out into some other titles, titles, characters, teams, creators, especially. So yeah, if you're still pulling these, let me know what you picked up, which packs are you seeing out in the wild? Kind of curious which ones are kind of floating around out there. 
and to see if there's a nice little mix of cover facing books as well as interior books. So yeah, some new lenticulars kind of floating around too, it seems. So yeah, uh, share your thoughts in the comments below. Uh, happy reading, happy hunting, happy collecting. This is Geno's Comics. Thanks for watching and peace out.